What's up Crusaders? I'm Chad. And I'm Austin. Today we'll be talking about college applications, what people are looking forward to do over Thanksgiving, and a mystery skit. The Camp Food Drive ends this Friday. Community service hours are available up to four hour cap. The food is for the Kiwanis Club and will be distributed throughout the Macomb County area. Drop off your canned and non-perishable goods to Mr. Forbert, your first hour teacher for community service credit. It goes to help all those in need this winter. Now here's a segment on how seniors are getting ready to apply for college. Don't know what it is. With Trevor. Drew. Have you guys applied to colleges? Uh, yeah, I have. Not really, no. Which colleges have you guys applied to? I've applied to Mich Michigan State, uh, Western, and Ferris. I think Macomb Community College is my best bet. There. So, out of all of your choices, Trevor, which one's your favorite? Michigan State, because I've already been accepted there, and I'm going to be playing lacrosse there. So I'm Justin. I'm here with Noah. What colleges have you applied to so far? Well, so far, I've applied to Harvard, Dartmouth, and a boarding school in Colorado. What is your favorite college out of all of them? I like all of them equally. Francis Bonamassi, one of the counselors here in the counseling department. What are the deadlines for the Big Ten schools here in Michigan? Most deadlines are by Halloween or by November 1st. Is parchment the only way for our, us to send our transcripts to the lower schools or the smaller schools? Well, parchment is, is a part of like probably hundreds and hundreds of colleges, but not all. Some of your smaller colleges will use what's called send edu, and some others just want a, a paper review or a submission on letterhead. Most use parchment, most of the top ten. Most of the bigger colleges, even out of state, will use parchment. For those who haven't applied, I suggest to get it in gear, especially if you are applying to, it's never too late to apply. I have to tell you that. It's never too late. A lot of people say it is, but it isn't. It's too late for early admissions or if you want an early acceptance. Don't know what to do with your old electronics? Remember, there's a community service credit for turning in old electronics, ink cartridges, and more. See Ms. Wisman for details. Thanksgiving is coming up, and we asked you guys about your plans over break. Let's take a look. Now, here's a segment on... All right, I'm Kyle, I'm here with Tyler. We're gonna be interviewing people about everything Thanksgiving. I'm here with Justin, Keegan, and Jake. Justin, what's your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Uh, eating all the food. Keegan, how about you? I love food. How about you, Jake? Uh, I also love food. You guys going anywhere special for Thanksgiving? Uh, probably my grandma's house. No, I gotta work. I'm gonna work with Jay and then go to Jake's grandma's house. All right, there you have it. Thanks, I'm here with Romizi and Mr. Corsi. Romizi, what's your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Uh, that you can have a lot of food, bro. All right, all right. Corsi, where do you go up there for Thanksgiving? Uh, the whole family comes to my house. Um, do you make the food? I don't. My wife does. Um, it's a man's world. Uh, do you guys have a score prediction for the Lions game? Uh, sure. I'm not sure, but I just really hope they uh, Lions keep winning. 21-14, Lions. All right, there you have it. Thanks, right, guys. I'm here with Josh. Josh, what's your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? I'd have to say my favorite thing about Thanksgiving is the turkey. Everyone loves to eat, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Um, all right, you got a score prediction for the Lions game? Uh, Lions by seven. All right, thanks, Josh. I'm here with Mr. Eberry. Mr. Eberry, what's your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Man, I love Thanksgiving and the family atmosphere. Waking up early in the morning, putting my slippers on, taking the dog outside, coming back, sitting on the couch, relaxing, helping my wife prepare the meal. I'm very excited. What's your favorite part of the meal? Favorite part of the meal is the cranberry sauce. I try to hoard it. I drag it over close to me with all the family around. Love the stuff. Now here's a segment on who knows what. I know I don't know what's what. I hope it's good. Oh no. Ah!
are dying! <laughs> My leaves may be dying, but the Hunger Games are not. With the Leaf Games in full swing, just like the Hunger Games, now we're going to interview some people. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Sadie. Are you excited for Hunger Games too? Yeah, I am. Have you read any of the books? Yeah, I've read all three of them. Oh. Hi, I'm here with Dwayne. How would you survive Hunger Games? Well, I would probably bribe everybody with my awesomeness and tell them that I'd be their best friends forever. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Hi, I'm here with Nick. Are you excited for Hunger Games too? Yeah, I'm really excited. Would you save your partner or would you leave them to die? I think I'd save my partner. I mean, so I can offer them up later to save myself. They smell leafy. I know. <laughs> Again, I'm Chad. And I'm Austin. Remember, Crusaders, make, make it, it count. count. Crusader Connection is online. Like, follow, and subscribe.